Hey guys, it's Jess. Today I am here to talk about my review of Dale Loves Sophie to Death by Rob Foreman Do. I can honestly say this book is about nothing. Literally. Uh, I was hoping to have like this contemporary romance or maybe even a murder because it's he loves Sophie to death, but it is literally about nothing. It's about two months of the summer where the wife separates from the husband and um, they just go through life. Spoiler alert, if you want to read this book, step away now because I'm going to talk about plot points and um, explain why I felt like the book was about nothing. So I'm giving you a moment to turn off the video if you want to read Dale Loves Sophie to Death. In the book, the wife, Dinah, goes back to her hometown while her husband Martin stays in their house. Martin has an affair with one of the neighbors and Dinah starts talking to her estranged father who she hasn't talked to in a long time. So I was like really excited when these things started happening. I was like finally we're gonna get like some sort of plot here. But then things start to build and then they just drop. They just stopped, stop getting talked about. One point that I felt could have, well, really the whole book could have been expanded on to have a real plot, but it wasn't. One thing is that the father of Dinah has a limp and her youngest son, I believe it's her youngest son, one of her sons, Toby, also gets a limp and she thinks it's because the father has one and he keeps telling her he's sick and he's sick and he's sick and she doesn't do anything about it. And then one day she goes down to the kitchen and he's there and he's like passed out and he's puked everywhere and she takes him to the hospital and it turns out he is really really sick but they didn't talk about any the author didn't talk about anything about it it's just that he went to the hospital he got better Martin the husband came and then that was that like that was the end of the book it was literally about nothing there was no plot there was no building action there was no huge like event that changed everyone's life. It just like things happen, things got better. That was it. It was literally a book about nothing. Oh my gosh, it was so frustrating. And so I read, actually read through like the first 150 pages and then skimmed the last 60 because I just couldn't sit here and spend. That's why it took me forever to read it because I didn't want to read it. It was literally about nothing and it drove me crazy. I personally do not recommend Dale Loves Sophie to Death. I thought it was not a good book. I did do a full review talking about writing style and the characters and why I didn't like it and what I thought could have been expanded upon and then there were a few points that I did like. There, there are some pros in here that are really well written uh, but they're few and far between. Other than that, it's just a bunch of unneeded detail kind of stuff. Check that out if you're interested. Tell me, if you've read Dale Loves Sophie to Death, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? That's my review of Dale Loves Sophie to Death. Unfortunately, a major disappointment. But we can't love everything we read. Right? Right. Next, I will be reading Chain Letter by Christopher Pike. This book I am super excited to read. This book is about six friends who commit some sort of crime and then they each start getting letters saying someone knows about the crime and then they each start dying off. That's what I understand. So the print in this book is huge and it's like all double spaced. So this hopefully shouldn't take me long. I will definitely do a review of that, both a blog review and a YouTube review. Let me know what you're reading, let me know if you've read Dale of Sophie to Death or Chain Letter and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If there's any videos you want to see, let me know down below also. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!